In this project, we're 3D printing Link's Highland Shield from Zelda. It's over 450 millimeters long and features a built-in handle. It also prints in just two parts. The bottom part is printed upside down with support material so that it's easy to remove by hand. You can download the design and customize the parts so that it can fit your 3D printer. The two parts are joined in the center and held together by wooden sticks. Be sure to check out the guide on the Adafruit Learning System for a full tutorial. To add color to the outer frame, we'll use masking tape to cover the inner artwork. You can use a hobby knife to cut the masking tape to cover the details with curves. Chrome and blue metallic spray paint are going to give these parts a car paint job finish. Apply at least two coats of spray paint to the outer details, making sure to get all the edges. Let the parts dry for an hour before removing the masking tape, and you can use tweezers to make it a lot easier. To start the next color, apply masking tape over the outer frame. You can use blue metallic spray paint for the inner details. After another hour of drying, you can remove the masking tape to reveal the final paint job. To make the Highland Crest and the Triforce stand out, you can use NinjaFlex filament to print these details in different colors. So there you have it, now you can build the shield to go along with the sword. Be sure to take this, it's dangerous out there.